<laughs> we the kings! This is our garden! I'm Boyd and I'm the boss! Linda Alessi from South Gibson United Methodist Church is a Sunday school superintendent and she wanted her youth to know that there is more to church and being a Christian than just coming to Sunday school. So she had the idea to talk to them about mission work and one of their options was to do a food bank garden. How did that come about? How did you decide to do a food bank garden? Well, it started with the suggestion of the children. They wanted to do something for the community, and she wa they wanted to help uh, the people that were out of work and the needs of food in the area. So they came up with the idea of doing a garden so where they can grow fresh vegetables and produce for the people in our community. And that's how it all began. Where do you take the produce? We have two spots that we actually take our produce to. We take it to Susquehanna Oakland Food Bank, which is about a mile and a half to two miles up the road from here, as well as St. Francis of Assisi Soup Kitchen in Scranton. And the St. Francis Soup Kitchen is a homeless ministry, right? That is correct, yes. And the children were very much enjoying the fact that they can see their produce grown and delivered and seeing people feed on it. It's wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Linda's daughter, Sarah, is one of the youth that has been helping to weed the garden and pick the produce. What produce do you have in this garden? Um, we have tomatoes and lettuce and um, winter cabbage. And we have zucchini and pickled um, zucchinis, I think. Is there any crop that's more difficult to weed and pick the crops than the rest? Um, the tomatoes because the um, the chokeweed grows around them and it's really hard to get off because there's so many leaves on them. Do you feel like you've learned a lot about gardening through this project? Yeah. Okay well thank you for sharing Sarah. Boyd Manzer, a lay leader of the church, heard about the kids project and knew that they needed a place to have the garden so he donated a um, riding rink that's about a half acre so I know that the kids appreciate so much that you donated this. And how have you helped them to get this started? Well, I put their feet to the fire. Uh, it was a learning experience for them. Most of them had no idea of how to go about planting a plant uh, or what the different plants looked like. Uh, then we went from that stage to showing them when uh, the different ones were in flower. And then when they had fruited, about how to pick and what to pick and when to leave it and when to pick it. And uh, Leah was our prize cherry tomato uh, connoisseur. Uh, she kept close track of the plants. But then as soon as one would start to ripen, it wound up in Leah's tummy. <laughs> so uh, it's been a fantastic experience for the kids and myself. Uh, kind of nice to pass on some of the knowledge and stuff to the kids, uh, knowing that right now for them it's just an experience that maybe in 10 years when they go to do a garden, they may be able to bring some, some of this stuff. Absolutely. It's a wonderful way to mentor and to pass on your knowledge to the other younger people in your church. So uh, how many... Um, how many pounds of zucchini and so forth have you picked so far this summer in August? Myself, I've only picked maybe 10 pounds. But the kids have picked, we're now up to around 560 pounds of zucchini. Uh, it's about 680 pounds of cucumbers. Five pounds of broccoli. Uh, I don't know how many pounds of tomatoes. Uh, in my, 10, I was thinking, yeah. So about that. But then the 
the kids also wanted to do something for the church aside from that. So they opted, uh, we suggested to raise the winter squash for our harvest dinner. And it looks like now there's somewhere around 750 to 1,000 pounds of squash growing in the bed behind us. And we also put in pumpkins. So as their reward for summer's activity, each kid will wind up with a pumpkin. And they're out there now, 35 and 40 pound pumpkins. And there's gonna be enough for everybody to have one. And the biggest one's going on the altar. <laughs> It's wonderful that they have one that they can just have to um, as a reward for all the hard work that they have done. And I've heard that they have a very rigorous schedule that they come out here and are working. Can you tell me about that? Well, they come, uh, they signed a contract. Uh, the parents signed it and they brought the copies to me. So if somebody didn't show up, I could call and say, hey, it's your turn to be here. <laughs> Haven't had to do that. Everybody's been here when they were supposed to be here. Parents would come with the kids, help them. Uh, it's been, and they actually enjoyed doing it. Uh, it was a big surprise. You didn't have to hound the kids to do it. They came and they did it with joy. And I think amazement by seeing, knowing that their cl uh, classmate had picked on Tuesday and they came and picked as much again on Thursday mm -hmm. and then took it off and up to the food bank in St. Francis. And the food bank has given them uh, thank you notes. St. Francis has done the same. And so we've now, uh, I just took a group photo here. We are to send a photo of them to the food bank and to St. Francis so they can post it on their boards and thank the kids in person for all the food that they've donated. Well, what a wonderful way and a wonderful program that the kids could be mentored by you as well as to give to the community and give of their time and their labor and that the community can have fresh seasonal produce. And so what a wonderful idea. And the big thing is, it was their idea. It was not the adults saying, oh, do this. They came up with the idea and then we just helped them organize it and put it together. Yes, we did select the variety of plants and stuff to put in. But they were the ones that came and put their feet and their hands right in the dirt and planted the plants, and away we went. Kids getting dirty for Jesus. That's what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> they have a special tip that they'd like to share with you if you're interested in creating a food bank garden at your church. But you'll have to check out my blog to find out what it is at Susquehanna express.blogspot.com